Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Savvy Licious Arrangements. So, you know me, I'm going to hop straight into this video. So, you see me icing um, this six inch cake here. And the flavor is um, vanilla, French vanilla. And I'm going to just be stacking my cakes. Um, I have my leveler here. To make sure that my cake is leveled now i'm letting you know now i'm not into cakes okay i'm not a professional i do this because it's my passion now and people order and as they order and i practice more and i practice more i get better um i didn't feel the need to cut off the top layers to my cakes i just wanted to see how it would be um, if I didn't cut off the top layers like the dome at the top uh, normally when I finish baking the cakes I normally turn them upside down just to flatten them a little bit but um, not too much if it's too big of a dome I will cut them off but for something like this I didn't really feel the need to um, and I wanted to see how far I can go without cutting the domes and see if it gives me a little bit more height, um, if it gives me a little bit more cake, uh, because it's only six inches and I'm only working with, but so much cake here. So I am taking my icing in a piping bag, um, and I'm just filling in the gaps into, um, the cake. And ever since I've done it this way, my cakes came out a lot better um, when I used to just take my spatula and just blob it onto the cake layer I find that my cakes lean a little bit more I guess because um, one side of the cake has more icing than the other side so um, one day I just decided to put it in a piping bag and pipe it the way that you see me pipe it in the beginning of the video and my cakes come out a lot better um, and they just come out a lot easier. I do it, I love it this way. This is my go-to method as far as my cakes. I'm still learning how to um, ice my cakes and I'm still learning how to decorate cakes. Uh, I'm not really into cakes that much, but um, honestly, cakes is where the money is. Um, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm just going to be straightforward. Cakes is where the money is. Now, I normally specialize in cupcakes and Rice Krispie treats, candy apples, chocolate cup strawberries, everything else other than cakes. I'm just getting the hang of this cake thing. And I still feel like I don't really have it down pat. But... The more I do it, the better I get, the more I feel a little bit more confident. So I'm just taking my um, spatula here that uh, was called a scalpel that I got from Lowe's. And this thing does wonders to my cakes. I've tried to use um, regular bench scrapers. Uh, some of them do work, but I came across this one and I've been using this ever since. It's tall enough for um, most of my cakes or pretty much all of my cakes. And um, I love it for the most part. It doesn't give me any problem, especially if I run it under some hot water um, and then smooth it out uh, to use it to smooth it out my icing to get all the like little gaps or holes or whatever that we may miss. It works really good so if you have um, a Home Depot or Lowe's near you go ahead and get you one of these they run anywhere from $7.99 to maybe $17 depending on the size and the brand that you get so now I'm just taking um, my spatula um, and I'm just going to be leveling out, leveling out my cake and getting all the excess icing off the top um, it doesn't necessarily have to be perfect because I'm going to be putting um, drips on top of the cake. So here is um, the guy V. He's a Korean um, singer 
from the group called BTS. Now, a customer reached out to me yesterday and said, hey, I need a BTS cake. And I said, BTS, is this a work location? And he's just like, no, it's some boy band that my daughter likes. So I said, okay, well, I'll do the research. He said her favorite artist is V. So this is V. And I cut V out on photo paper that I got from my local Staples. And I got my glitter paper from my local Michaels. Um, this right here was about $2. The glitter paper was 99 cent and the photo paper was like a dollar and some change. So roughly I probably spent about $3 at the most. So I'm just gonna be taking my hot glue gun and I'm going to be placing this onto the glitter paper and I'm going to be cutting around um, my photo here so that you can see the outline of the glitter. It's supposed to be like a 3D effect, I guess. Um, it's just something that I kind of came up with just to give some more decoration to my cakes. So now that I have this cut out, I'm going to be um, applying the sticks to the back of it. And I'm taking my hot glue gun and some regular sticks that I got from Amazon. It came about 500 in a pack for about $6.99. Um, I bought them to use for Rice Krispie treats, but they wasn't thick enough or sturdy enough. Um, so I just have them here for little things like this that I can use them for. So now that I put two sticks on there, um, I'm going to move forward to my next step for the cake. And this right here is going to be your lifesaver. Okay. This right here is going to be your lifesaver. Now, normally when you do cakes or when people do cakes, they do edible imaging. At this moment, I didn't have... Um, the time to do edible imaging because the cake was such a late um, order that I had to figure out another way to get the pictures onto the cake um, that didn't cost me so much and it was um, quick, fast, and hairy. So what I did here was stick tape to the back of my image and I stuck the image to a plain piece of paper that I'm gonna throw in the trash and I'm cutting around um, the image so that I can use it for my cake without it transferring into um, the picture. So normally if you don't have anything on the back of it, um, it will bleed through. You'll see the oils on the image, the water stains or Whatever it is that you're going to use to attach your photo to your cake or to your cupcakes, to your cupcake toppers, doesn't make a difference. So when you apply the tape, it doesn't allow it to bleed through. So it doesn't mess up your picture. And this comes in handy a lot. Um, normally I'll get like edible imaging if I really, really, really have to. Um, but for the most part, this is how I do it. Uh, remember I told you I just resize the images to the sizes that I want from my computer and then I'll go ahead and go to Staples and print them out and um, if I'm doing cupcake toppers I'll go ahead and laminate it if not then I'll go ahead and stick the tape to the back of it so that it doesn't um, bleed through here I'm just taking some white chocolate um, from Wilton um, I didn't make a mirror glaze. I didn't make a ganache. I just uh, took some white chocolate from um, Gardardelli. They have the chocolate wafer melts. Uh, and I'm just using this to make the drips and use it for the covering on the top of the cake. Remember I told you that this was a last minute order, so I wasn't able to go ahead and set up everything that I would normally do if I had more time with someone that placed the order a week ago. I run a home-based bakery, 
so I don't have the luxury to have cakes and cupcakes and all of that stuff pre-made already so when customers order I personally just don't like it that way um, I like to have all of my stuff fresh and because I am a home-based bakery um, I normally don't get orders every single day most of my orders come in from Thursday to Sunday and uh, it's, it does pretty good my, my weekends are pretty busy um, I'm just placing the artists on top of the cake and here this is the image and I placed the tape on the back of it and I mm -hmm. used used some um, Wilton fondant and I'm just taking the extra chocolate that I have on in my piping bag and I'm just using that as a glue to stick on to my cake. So, so far this is what the cake looks like. This is one side completed. Um, the center picture is um, a printout also and I just took my round cookie cutter and um, stuck it inside this, the center of the cake. This, I'm making it harder than it really should be but it's really simple. Um, I just wanted to really do a voiceover just to go ahead and show you what I did and how I did it um, because I know you pro guys will probably have a lot of questions after the fact. So I just took some little music notes that I got from Michaels and those little jewels and I stuck them onto the board of the cake and um, stuck them onto the cake with some white chocolate. You can go ahead and take these off super easily. Um, they're not hard to come off at all. You'll just remove the picture, of course, um, and the picture from the cake and um, the little centerpiece right there. And you can go ahead and you can go ahead and cut into your cake. And this is what it will look like once you cut into the cake. Um, the white chocolate on the top of it makes it kind of difficult to cut into the cake just because it's hard it's not like a mirror glaze or the white chocolate ganache it's just straight chocolate from out of the bag that was melted and this is what the inside of the cake looked like thank you guys for watching this was pretty much just self-explanatory if you have any questions leave it in the comments below and i'll see you in my next one thank you